With the new entry in the Grand Theft Auto series, Rockstar seems to be putting a huge emphasis on the immersion, with them literally describing the title as the biggest, most immersive evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series yet. Rockstar is known for breaking boundaries and setting new standards for the industry with their titles, and this game is no exception. The first trailer demonstrated how big of a leap Rockstar is making with GTA 6. What stood out the most in the trailer is undoubtedly the AI. Rockstar has made some ginormous advancements in AI, patenting new NPC behavior systems that will be applied in this installment. Not only will NPCs look more realistic, but they'll also behave like real people. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at all of the AI improvements that we've seen from the leaks and the first official trailer. A friendly reminder, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button, leave a like on the video and join the Discord as there are only 4 days left until the Xbox Game Pass giveaway ends. You can find the link in the description. Some of the big improvements that can be gathered from the leaks regarding the AI is improvements in the enemy AI in one of the videos so you can see an enemy AI shooting Lucia when she turns around with her back to him. Also, the police AI can be seen adjusting his stance depending on the height of the object in front of him and lowering his position when he reloads his weapon and he also keeps shooting Lucia while moving left and right. In other videos like the Hank's Waffles robbery, the police AI is also seen raising their guns over higher objects like cars. This will be the most advanced enemy AI we have seen in any Rockstar title. Police officers and other enemies such as gang members will be more difficult to defeat as they will be more aware of their surroundings, they will be more tactical, their movements will be improved as they will now position themselves in relation to the player's position and the object they're using as cover. Other NPC behavior improvements include AI no longer walking around as single pedestrians but actually travel and converse in groups. This is something that was done in RDR2 in the video where you can see Lucia with a duffel bag on a sidewalk in South Beach, three men and Taurus the tire walk past her while talking to each other. A man also enters the nightclub as Lucia exits the establishment. Usually in past GTA games, we enter and exit places without seeing anyone doing the same as us. NPCs are usually there at the locations or are set on a strict track outside of a location. Also, NPCs can be seen standing and drinking near a bar in South Beach. Also in the video with Jason aiming his rifle out of his car window in the tennis court, you can see what appears to be some NPCs sitting on the ground in another video, you can see one sitting and smoking with his animation referenced as sit ground smoke. In addition, improved partner AI and player reactions are also gonna be coming. It looks as if Lucia isn't following Jason, but Dre in the nightclub video. The AI in this case seems smart enough to know where to go without having another controllable character as the primary location to track. It seems like there is one video where the local motion team is testing this mechanic. In the first video mentioned here, Lucia automatically turns around when she gets shot. She and Jason also have a specific damage animation that plays when they get shot. In previous Rockstar titles, typically when you have an objective, your NPC partner will follow you and not go to the objective. So let's say the objective is to enter a building. If you decide to not enter the building and go somewhere else, the NPC partner will follow you. Well, in this case, your partner will decide whether they should follow you or follow the objective where they're supposed to go. Furthermore, the only clip that we have from the next iteration of GTA Online gave us information about the carry bodies feature that it will be returning from Red Dead Redemption. 2, NPCs will likely also be able to carry bodies. You'll be able to rob, threaten and talk to NPCs during robberies, a similar interaction system to the one in Red Dead Redemption 2. You'll be able to threaten, rob, tie up hostages with zip ties, melee NPCs. This is all from the leaks. Moreover, in the video where Lucia is in a shootout with the cops, two of them get shot and then they struggle to get up, one of them trying to stand up while avoiding putting pressure on the injured part of the body. At the end of the video with Jason aiming his rifle in the tennis court, you can see an NPC NPC on another court preparing to play tennis, so NPCs will also be able to participate in sports activities. When the cops arrived at the Hanks Waffles, an NPC said Jesus finally, which means that the NPCs are more aware of the events and situations happening around them. NPCs when attacked now run with their phones at hand. This reminds me of the shot from the GTA 6 trailer where the NPC is recording Lucia, which could suggest that NPCs will be able to use their phones to call the police or record. In the first trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6, we saw that each NPC has a different body type skin tone, is wearing different clothes and is doing something totally different to anyone else. A woman is being sprayed with sunscreen at the beach. You can see at the beach an NPC passing a soda or a beer bottle to another NPC. A muscular guy on the beach checks his fitness tracker while running. Pedestrians can be seen walking their pets. A man on the beach is wearing AirPods. It can be seen in the trailer that NPCs will have their own belongings including bags, towels, coolers, sunglasses, drinks, sun cream bottles, phone models, etc. An immersive detail is that everyone looks to be leaving footprints as they walk.
walk and you can see the people running kicking up sand as well. NPCs hanging out at the beach also have their feet covered with sand. In the shot with the alligator entering the convenience store, you can see an NPC filling his car with gas in the background. In that same shot, you can also see that inside of the store, there are NPCs that are reacting to the alligator entering the store, including this NPC sitting at a table way in the back of the store, turning around to see what was happening. The NPCs outside of the store also have their phones out and seem to be taking pictures of the alligator, a perfect example of how aware NPCs are of their surroundings. This also shows us that establishments such as gas stations, convenience stores will be utilized by all NPCs. Another detail is that the old lady's fingers twitch when she holds the hammer. Age will also likely impact the movements of the NPCs. Other details include that sweat can be seen on NPCs working out. NPCs will also have jiggle physics and there are muscle deformations and wrinkles on clothing when characters move. Another example of the NPC's spatial awareness is the passenger positioned towards the sidewalk swings the open door facing the road as a car passes by. He opens it just enough to ensure that the passing vehicle won't cause any damage to the door. Also in this shot with the cars doing donuts, NPCs can be seen on a balcony spectating the video shoot, suggesting NPCs will now live in the buildings and stand on balconies. There's actually a patent from 2020 for system and method for virtual navigation in a gaming environment filed by Take-Two Interactive regarding the NPC navigation system coming to GTA 6, which also mentions the NPCs walking in groups which we saw in the trailer. And this is only a portion of the details that we know so far. More details will be revealed later with the later trailers and of course when the game comes out. But as you can see, the attention to detail in this title will be mind-blowing and Rockstar is putting a huge emphasis on the immersion and making the world feel alive. Let's take a look at this post by this user on the GTA 6 subreddit in regards to the NPCs. I've watched the trailer for the 50th time and put it at 0.75 times and really focused on the NPCs and what they were doing and how they were interacting with everything. You can definitely tell that this is for the most part in game. Some cutscenes you could tell so those animations don't count. But seeing the NPCs have so much life and character is breathtaking. Rockstar is really focusing on its NPCs because they are what make a GTA world feel lived in. Watching the people get out of a vehicle, the people on the balcony behind the bikini girl, the guy has a drink in his hand and looks down to fiddle with something like someone would do in a group conversation. This game is going to blow us away with how lived in it feels and killing NPCs is going to be a lot more interesting because I have a feeling when they're put in danger they will have animations that act like real fear and it'll be really jarring. Also the scene with the crashed vehicle you can see people pulling someone out of the car. This got me thinking what if they do what Hitman does? Every person killed or injured the police and paramedics show up and clean up the mess or at least take the body or injured they actually put them in a gurney and take them away. I know they do this in other GTAs but with more depth and police can gain evidence on you and your place gets raided. Who knows what they have put in their sleeves? I'm expecting George dropping depth to the NPCs. User replied, I bet implemented mechanic from RDR2, it's even possible that many NPCs will have a routine like in RDR2. Another user said, yep, I reckon NPCs AI and animation slash interaction will be the biggest flex of the game, in that these interactions will be so varied and unique to the situations in which they happen that every playthrough of the game, similar to RDR2, will be different. Possibly the honor system will be implemented in some way that NPCs react differently based on how you treat NPCs and the world in general as well. It's gonna be a fun time. There's a lot more that we haven't seen from the game and I'm sure that it'll blow us away when we finally get our hands on it. These details are mind-blowing. Let me know what you think of everything we discussed in today's video in the comments down below as well as leave your own thoughts about the NPCs and AI in general in GTA 6. What are you hoping to see? If you guys enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel for more GTA 6 videos just like this one. If you want to participate in the giveaway of an Xbox Game Pass, 3 months for PC, join my Discord server from the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.